Hey Flosstube, Ashley here, Boogie Stitcher on YouTube, Shlizum underscore Boogie Stitcher on Instagram, coming to you guys with another unboxing. This is a very giant cross stitch pattern from Outdoor Tide. I will leave all of their information in the description box down below in case you guys are interested. If you guys have been watching my channel, then you will know this. If you're new, then stay tuned, because here we go. Uh, I absolutely love Pokemon. <laughs> I am a huge Pokemon fan. I have a little Bulbasaur tattoo that I just recently got on my thigh and I have lots of Pokemon patterns. And this will be no surprise as we have a ginormous Pokemon cross stitch pattern. So let's go ahead and get dived right in to this unboxing. Just the floss alone on this is, is scary. <laughs> okay, so when I saw this on the Outdoor Tide website, um, yeah, I, my mind was blown. <laughs> Here it is. So Gen 1 is another version of like a Gen 1 pattern. Um, the original. Whoop, whoop. So uh, yeah, this picture does not do it justice. So I'll probably insert, yeah, I think I'll probably insert a picture of it right here. I just, I couldn't help it. I mean, it's like, it's, it's my favorite generation of Pokemon. So I um, am currently stitching the, the li lib. I'm stitching a counted first generation pattern. I'll leave all of the details in the description box down below on that pattern. I only have like three pattern, done, uh, three Pokemon done on that pattern. I just don't have enough time to stitch on counted projects these days. Um, I don't think I'm going to fully scratch it, but it's definitely in like a pause pile because I need to kit it up. I need, if it's not kitted up, I'm not gonna stitch it. And so I need to finish kitting that up so I can stitch it and love on it because it's awesome. That pattern I am um, adding Krennic to any of my favorite Pokemon to make them like holographic and it's just so cool and I love it but I need to I will get back to it <laughs> but this is stamped and it's all gen one and Lord Lord Libin Lord Lord Libin that might I don't know that sounds part right and part wrong <laughs> and I'll leave their information it's a free pattern that you can find um on their website. Anyway, uh, this is stamped. Uh, it's not the same pattern. It's something different and I love it. So let's go ahead and unbox it. This one is huge. <laughs> it is da, 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 59 by 84. So it is massive. Um, it is still 11 count. I prefer my stamp kits to be 11 count. 14 count is a little bit hard for me to stitch, um, especially 10 stitch, because 10 stitch, uh, I stitch a full six strands on 11 count, and that's just so easy because I don't have to do any, I don't have to separate strands or anything. So, um, so yeah. Okay, are you ready? This is on poster paper. Here's the pattern, here's the instructions, which I don't use, and here is the whole pattern. There we go, all in one frame for you right there. It's huge! So, let's take a look at how many colors this thing has. I hope it's a lot. Yes, 46 colors. So, the max colors that I've seen on any of my kits is 50. And you have to like special request that. Like that's a custom kit that you request the max colors, please. Like I need 50 colors. So if you get a kit with this many colors in it, um, that's that's really good. I'm I'm very confident that this will have the detail that I am looking for. 46 colors. Um, it also came with a tool kit, which of course just fell. So we have pom pom, gold tip needles, needle threader and needle threader and thimble. And let's take a look at this ginormous canvas. So this is 233 stitches wide by 342 stitches long. So this is like a mini haid, um, in case you guys are interested in like the actual size. This is almost a mini haid. I think this is a tiny bit smaller, but I think it depends on the, the haid that you pick. By haid, I mean heaven or designs pattern. 
Um, so I'm just gonna take a quick peek at the stamping and the stamping looks fabulous. This is a crisp, excellent stamping, which is perfect because this is gonna be a very long lived project. Um, this will go in like a big poster frame. You know, the ones that you see like at the movie theater with like the movie poster. Yes, I already know what frame I'm gonna put this in and everything, it's gonna be perfect. Um, so let's go ahead and see if I can get this all in one frame. Here, nope, I can't get it in one frame. So here, do, 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 and I have to scroll up, scroll, 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 scroll. There we go. <laughs> I can't, I can't scoop far enough back to show you. But I will show you a section of the stamping so you can see what I mean by crisp stamping. Here is an example. So as you can see, all of the symbols are very thin. You can easily see that's a red box with a white circle, no, white triangle. Um, they're normally circles. White triangle in the middle. I can, I, I can stitch this at any time of day without a light and anything. This is, this is awesome. So there's also, oh, here's a really good example. Here is a symbol with a red box with a white square and a red box with a triangle and you can easily tell the difference right here. See that? That is what I consider excellent stamping. Nice and crisp. Okay, let's take a look at this floss. This is gonna be insane and I hope this is on a floss card. Please tell me it's on a floss card. No! It's not. Dun, dun, dun. All right, this is on floss drops. I don't know what I think about that. Um, just because this is such a big project. Uh, we'll give it a shot though. We'll give it a shot. It will be okay. Maybe. I, I might cry, I don't know. I just don't, for big projects like this, I just, I do so much better with the floss cards. I can easily see several different colors. Like it's easy to find one through 46 versus looking at the DMC numbers. It's just so hard. So this one I think will probably have to be converted to a floss, uh, floss card, but I'll need to do that as I'm stitching the colors because I'm not the type of person to sit down and kit something up. I do not like kidding up projects. I like starting new projects, but I hate kidding them up. I rather spend my time stitching. Who needs, who needs to spend time organizing and setting yourself up for success? That's not me. <laughs> I like to get into the nitty gritty. Okay, so one thing I do like about this is this is mostly pastel colors, um, which is true to the pattern picture. So as you can tell by these colors, we have a lot of pastel like purples and blues and yellows. This side we have pastel pink and green and like salmon color. I'm gonna try and split this in half so we can kind of see the guts. So here, a lot of grays and blues. And let me see if I can split it again to show some more colors. We got yellows and salmons and gold. We got some purples and tans. Yeah, it's so hard. I say this every video, but it's so hard to show you guys all of the colors when they're like this. But I'm so excited to start this. I might even start this today because it's Pokemon. Um, yeah, so that is it for this unboxing. Thank you all so much for joining me. I really appreciate every single one of you. Thank you Outdoor Tide for sending this over to me. I appreciate you as well. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave a comment down below or you can send me an email or send me a message on Instagram. I'm happy to talk to everybody and make friends with everybody. I love you all. I hope you all stay safe, stay warm, and take care. Bye.